Stevenson falls to Coast Guard 1-0 in extra time. Glenn Clark, Coach Graham Miller. Coach, I, you guys got some great chances in the second half, some really good looks at goal. Is it frustrating at all to be two matches in and still not have found one that's gotten in the back of the net? Yeah, I think so. You know, I think, it, you know, we can say all we want about, you know, having a short-term memory and moving on. But when you when you lose a game one nothing in overtime at the same same minute as we lost uh, on Thursday night, it does hurt a little bit. You know, we tell the guys, you know, short-term memory and, you know, words of the greatest coach ever, Ted Lasso, you know, you got to be a goldfish and, right. and we got to move on. So we did. And, and we talked to the guys about that. And I thought... You know, we did move on from uh, from Thursday night. And you look at the second half because we changed tactics and, uh, midway through the first. You know, we were the better team. I mean, I think we had six shots to two in the second half. We had three corners to one. Uh, they're gonna, it's gonna happen. We're gonna, we're gonna break that duck and we're gonna get that ball in the back of the net. It's, it's gonna, it's, it's coming. I can feel it. Is it as simple as that, coach? Is it as simple as look when you get, you know, Demata had two great looks. You had the one from White that was really good. Is it as simple as look one of these is gonna go at some point, or do you have to change things up somehow? Well, we did change things in the first half. You know, we were we were playing our formation, the same formation we played uh, the other night, and you could see it wasn't working. We were getting uh, kind of hammered on the outside, so we, we switched it, and uh, I thought we, we finished the first half strong, and we carried that momentum into the second. And then to create the chances like we did, good goal-scoring opportunities, yeah, law of averages, the one's going to go in the back of the night sometime. You know, you're going to get lucky, uh, and, I, and I think it's coming. We're, we're, we're going to get there, and, and hopefully it's tomorrow. I want to talk about your two first-year starters in both Sieverts and White, who we've seen a bunch of different things from, right? Like, they're, they're obviously good defensive players, but we saw some pretty impressive things from them offensively as well. Was this exactly what you thought you were getting from these guys two matches into their careers? Well, both guys, you know, both coming from Mount St. Joseph, great program under Mike St. Martin there. And both of them, you know, I, I knew there was a lot of potential there, but, you know, you, you see what they can do in preseason. You can you never know how they're going to adjust to the college game. Are they going to be nervous? But both of them look assured characters, and they both came in and did really well. And, and I thought also, you know, when Chris Gonzalez went down, that was a you know a huge blow for us at the, at the center back position. But Derek Jackson, 41, came in and did an outstanding job. And so, you know, we were playing at the end of the day. We were we had three players that were freshmen in that back line for for a lot of the parts of the game. And, and obviously, you know, I can't say enough about you know one of our captains, Dylan Hawley, who just continues to play another 93 minutes tonight. And uh, you know, looks like he's still you know freshman with with how he plays and just an exceptional to lead the back line with those young guys. He did a great job. And I can't, I can't fault him or the guys at the back for tonight. All right. Well, good luck to your goldfish tomorrow as you get that opportunity for another quick turnaround. And forget about this one, Coach. Appreciate it as always. As always, Glenn. Thanks for uh, your support and being here. He's Graham Miller. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.